So I was just working inside of Adobe After Effects and I stumbled across this cool new little feature, at least I think it's new, and I just had to make a quick tip tutorial for you guys because I think this is really useful. So a few years ago I was working for a TV station and I was working with a few other editors, five or six other editors, and occasionally we'd work in Adobe After Effects. And the problem was we didn't have a standard workflow in between all the editors. So for instance, if I opened up another project that another editor was working on and I had to finish something up for him, sometimes it would cause a problem because I wouldn't understand his folder structure, I wouldn't know where certain assets are, I'd have to spend a little bit of time figuring out what he had done. Also, since we're working in a broadcast environment, it was important that we all use the same graphics package, this custom gra graphics package that we had and all the branding content. So every project that we had, we had to have those assets in there. So it's kind of a pain to re-import those assets every time we're working on a new project. Plus, our sequence settings, we're, again, we're working in a broadcast environment, we're working in a spe very specific format, and our sequences need to be customized and set in a specific way. So if we're having to recreate those sequence settings every time, there's room for error and room to make mistakes, which would happen occasionally. Somebody would make a sequence wrong, and we would have to figure out what, what was the problem with our video. We'd have to kind of backtrack and find out where the problem started. So to avoid all these problems, we started using template projects. So what we would do is we would create a template project that would have a set folder structure that everybody agreed upon. It would have our sequences pre-made and ready to go, and then it would have all of our graphics assets in there as well, which included various logos like lower thirds, slates, bars and tone, everything we needed. And then anytime somebody would start a new After Effects project, they would open up that project and then do a simple save as, and boom, we all have the same st uh, standard of project. The problem with this was sometimes editors would save over the template project, uh, messing it up, and we'd have to go back and fix the template project. And other times, editors just wouldn't use the template project at all. So this new little feature in After Effects kind of takes care of all of those problems. Okay, so now I'm inside of After Effects. Let me show you how we can use this new feature to create a template that we can assign to new projects. Well, first, we have to create this template project. So I'm going to go to New Project. And then all I want to do is create my own customized folder structure here. Now this can be customized to your own, whatever your project you have going on with your project, whether you use a lot of graphics or music, it might be slightly different compared to how you want it. And I'm also going to go ahead and throw in graphics that I use all the time. And in particular, I'm going to throw in these two logo graphics that I need that I use on every single project. I'll definitely want that in my template. Okay, there we go. Everything's set and ready to go. We have our folder structure the way we want it. We've imported our logos and we're ready to assign this as our template. But first, as I said, we need to save this as a template project. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Save it right to the desktop here. Just name it template project. And now to assign it, I'll go to preferences and select new project. Now you'll see this button up here, new project loads template. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to say choose project template and then grab that template project and enter and now it's set to go so I'm going to click OK so now what exactly did that do? Well now let me show you what it did I go to file new project it immediately gives me all of these folders here and if I look inside we can see all of our assets are there everything's ready to go and you can see it's an untitled project this isn't simply opening the template project this is a new project the other really cool aspect of this little feature is the fact that if I go back to this template project, I'm going to not save this. So if I go back and I change this template project, so I came back inside of my template project. If I go back in here, and let's say I want to add something to this, let's say I got a background graphic here. Now I can go back and grab this background asset. I'm going to bring this into our background folder. So I changed my template project here. Now I'm going to save this. Now, if I go and select new project again, now we have that new asset there. So it automatically updates, which is very cool. And look over here again, this is an untitled project, so this is our new project. Very, very cool. Okay, so there you go. That's how you use templates for new projects inside of Adobe After Effects. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I really, really hope Adobe puts this feature inside of Premiere Pro, because that's where I think it would really shine. Okay, if you liked the tutorial, give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.